icon at the forefront of medical science and pop culture for the last century. Discovered by Louis Pasteur in 1845, vaccines and inoculations have paved the way for humanity through previously incurable diseases. Or has it? What if everything you perceive to be the truth was in fact nothing more than a bare-faced lie? What if I were to tell you the truth? Jafar al saman is a prominent doctor and medical scientist. I had enough of this so-called vaccines debate. Autism is caused genetically, not by vaccines. You have to stop giving these people the time of day or else. A good rebuttal. Not. Look at this hack. He's clearly being paid off by Big Pharma and Disney. Just look, it's all hidden in plain sight. To get a fairer perspective on things, we asked some freaks in the fringe of society for their opinions on vaccines. Randy Bovine is a crotch gobbler and professional degenerate. I've got a question for all you so-called pro-vaxxers. If vaccines are real, then how come they only cure diseases that don't exist anymore? Randy Bovine was a victim of vaccines at age four. Stefano Fibonacci worked in the illegal vaccine trade for over 15 years. I've been slinging vaccines since 80, uh, 87. If you bought vaccines uh, in the early 90s, there's a 70% chance uh, you got it from us. Little did I know how much you fucked up the world. You get these kids on the street, shooting up vaccines, they don't know what the hell to do. The people... The people can't go out on the streets no more. The violence from the vaccine trade has gone too far. The vaccines fucked up the world, man. They fucked it all up. Community outreach workers, like Daniel Brightshaw, fight against the use of vaccines in today's society. All right, so who can tell me what a vaccine is? Shut the fuck up. I think community is the most important thing we have, and it's our duty to protect that for, for everyone. You know, no matter their race, sexuality, uh, gender, political views, Unless they're communist. I fucking hate communists. I hate them so fucking much, I ejaculate the mere thought of killing another fucking communist. Fuck vaccines and fuck the NWA. I'm out of here. Nancy Schwartz uses her musical talent to fight against vaccines. My name's Nancy Schwartz, and I'm a uh, Christian mom and a singer-songwriter from Ohio. Uh, I've been writing songs for 12 years, uh, exposing the lies of the big gov and uh, the uh, big farmer, and I just think everyone deserves to know the truth about what the government are putting into your bodies uh, with vaccinations, and I do it through song, so, uh, sue me. <laughs> I've not vaccinated any of my children, and all the surviving ones are perfectly healthy, so, uh, here's a little, uh, snippet of my latest song called A Dose of Truth. I hope you all enjoy it. <laughs> Vaccines are bad. They really are not rad. If you believe in science, you're a moron. They were made by Karl Marx and enforced by the narcs. If you use a vaccine, you're a communist. Vaccines are sad and they really make me mad. If you believe in science, you're a liptard. They were made to defeat us and they're made of a fetus. If you believe in vaccines, you're a murderer. Vaccines are bad. If you use them, you're a cad. If you believe in science, you're a moron. 
This song is dedicated to Alex Jones and Infowars. You will be unbanned from Twitter. Free Andrew Wakefield. Vaccines are bad. They really are not rad. If you believe in science, you're a moron. They were made by Karl Marx and enforced by the narcs. If you use... I'm not fucking doing this anymore. Overall, I think it's important that everyone ignores the facts and uh, disbelieves science and buys my record. <laughs> oh, and God, he's important too. Overall, who's to say we learned anything about vaccines?